This podcast is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find other great shows on the network, head over to deluxeeditionnetwork.com. That's deluxeeditionnetwork.com. Hey, everybody, this is Chase from Barrel Age Flicks. Go ahead and check out our Patreon for raw, uncut footage and early access to all of our episodes. The link is in the description, and it's only $5 a month. Thanks for listening. <laughs> what uh, is what is no, up everybody it's gonna be that bad hi welcome to hi. the hello. tasting room i'm back yeah goodbye hello be myth goat what's I up you guys it's great to see you great to have you on the show and we are going to be doing something interesting we're going to do with the top five movie posters and hold on motherfucker we uh, also have to acknowledge <laughs> Adam's here. I'm you going to. Fuck. No, no, we acknowledge fucking good. I like was that. when I was going to get to the fucking God drink. Day. And we also have special guest, fucking Adam. Adam. You fucking prick. All right, see, yes, all right. I'm here. Thank you, Adam. Welcome here. <laughs> and we also have. Uh, Anna. I almost said your real name. <laughs> I was, I was almost, Damn it, almost, almost Adam. I wasn't sure if Anna was going to be on mic. That's why I didn't. Acknowledge well, she's, she's going to have to. Because she's going to have to. Uh, <laughs> nice. That's why I was going to do introductions <laughs> with her introducing the drink and then her and Adam. Well, normally at the beginning of shows when we have guests, we immediately acknowledge well, them. Well, oh, fuck you. Whatever. There's, there's <laughs> another uh, headset if you want one over there. All right. So, Anna, why don't you go ahead and introduce <laughs> the drink that you brought us to try out to, on this little tasting room episode? Okay, uh, yeah, I, I brought this smeared off uh, spicy tamarind vodka. It's really tasty. Oh, so it is. Okay, so. Thank you so much, Anna. Oh. <laughs> I got it especially for you. Oh, thank you. I feel the love. <laughs> All right. This is going to be interesting. <coughs> it smells nice. It smells it nice, does. but let's see how it tastes. Gross. I can't. <laughs> you can't reach over yeah, there. Right. Like <laughs> Let it rip. Cheers. Oh, that ain't bad spice. I know. That ain't I bad told, at all. I told you it wasn't bad. No. Nice, pleasant warmth level on the uh, the tongue. No <sighs> real warmth on the throat. So what is the flavor? Tam- the tamarind. Tamarind. What is tamarind? It's a spice. Okay. It's a special orange. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's different. tangerine. <laughs> yeah, it's different. <laughs> yeah, um, I give it a... Or a cutie. It's for special you people. Know. I'll give it a one and a half. It's not bad. <laughs> I'll give it a one just because. I'll drink it again. Um, I If they were able to somehow tone down the the, the spice, which I said, it's not bad spice at all. Do you it's think really, this would be better? Just, co- I think the actual flavor itself is really nice, but then it's overshadowed by the spice just hanging around on your tongue. It's Do you think really- it'd be better ice cold? Is it vodka? Then yes. Yeah. Well, no, I'm just saying. Right, I, I think yes. that all I think, vodka is better cold. I think this would be good, very ice cold. That's what I think. So, Ragnar, what do you think? All right, we're gonna go ahead and Anna. What do you think? She was about to speak. I didn't hear. Her. I'm sorry. I rude fuck. It's really tasty anything. in like a mixed drink with white cranberry juice and then rimmed with something. With cranberry juice and what? And like rim it. You with- rim the whole. Ron is really. <laughs> Amazing rim job. If you rim the glass right. with the. <laughs> it's a compliment. <laughs> the big middle finger from Ron. <laughs> so, what would you give it? I would give it a two. Okay. Okay. Ragnar? Give it one and a half. One and a half? Yeah. The heat's not bad. It's actually kind of fucking. Yeah. I was a little worried, but it's pleasant. Were you thinking it was going to be like really ultra spicy? Yeah. Yeah. I no, thought that you weren't going to like I it think all that this much. Was, I think as good as it is now, I think it would taste even better. In a mixed drink. It, yeah. it, it does. Yeah. Now that the spice has kind of calmed down on the tongue, I still get the pleasant, almost like a sweet taste mm-hmm. to There is a sweet taste yeah, in it. To yeah. it too. It's very, very pleasant. I enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, I've been looking mm-hmm. for Any this. hiccups there? No. No. Not at all. Like, it, it's not bad <laughs> spice at all. No, Damn. you gotta you gotta get it something does. with like ghost pepper or something like that. <laughs> you know? Get some really ultra uh, spicy no. shit. No, I appreciate Go this, Anna. I really do. Thank you so much for sharing. You're oh, right. you liked it. So mm-hmm. that's good. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so now let's go ahead and go into our top five movie posters, and Goot's going to go first for the top five. So, Goot, what are your top five favorite movie posters? 
Uh, so I'm going to start this off with the 1961 Jules Verne Mysterious Island. Oh, that's a Ooh, great that's a good fucking yes. movie. I, I love the poster. Except I imagine being on a hot air balloon, just going to a fucking island. That's my dream, just to disappear, find Captain Nemo, kill him, take the ship, submarine, fight fucking giant chickens, car- crabs, <laughs> all the fun stuff, you know? <laughs> Didn't that movie star the uh, the Captain Nemo from the Disney Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea? Was it the same actor? Oh, wow. because I, I remember I, I saw it when I, I was a kid. So. Uh, man, that movie was so great. One of those where they oh, did yeah. a lot of the stop motion and stuff. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, next up, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Of course, oh, I, yeah. I, knew I, I knew that was gonna be on yes. your list. Yes, you have to. You see the creature, you got the Rita. I mean, the jungle. The it's all the perfect things. I just want to escape and just live in a cave for the rest of my life. Yes. <laughs> Uh, number three, I'm gonna go the Terminator, the original Terminator. I, yes, yeah, the 19, yeah, Very with uh, good. just Arnold Schwarzenegger there with his glasses. You know, his shirt's like halfway down. You can see his chest is like he's got his gun right there. It's the fucking Terminator right yeah, there. Got the, yeah, the fucking he's got eye, red eye for for Arnold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking damn it. He's got the hots for him. <laughs> <laughs> it's the poster sold me. I gotta watch it. <laughs> yeah. The Next up. Yeah, you just love those pecs. <laughs> Next up, you got Big Trouble in Little China. That's a great one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's Fucking a good one. Good old Jack Burton up there. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, number one, The Dark Knight. I... I fucking of love course. that. See, now this is yeah. the question I had. I, I figured you were to pick the why so serious with the uh, Joker behind, like, the foggy... Uh, that's what I was thinking. So you're, you're just going with the Dark Knight poster. Well, there's... There's, a, a, there's multiple ones. There's multiple ones, but the one with Batman, and you see the, the his symbol on fire. On mm-hmm. the building? Yeah. On the building, yes. And yeah. then above it, you see there's a writing saying, you know, you know, welcome to a world without rules. Yeah. And if you're any Batman fan, you know, holy shit, this is about to get serious because the Joker always pushes him to his limit, you know? Yeah. Yep. So it, it just, I don't know. It just resonates with me. That's an awesome, awesome list. All right. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and go over to Adam for your top five movie posters. All right. there. These aren't in any, any particular order, um, but one... The Silence of the Lambs. I knew that one was going to be on somebody's yep. list. Yes. Now, there's multiple ones. So okay. which are you talking about one with the uh, the moth in the middle of the screen? And yeah, Yes, but there's different faces. And this is... I've never seen that one. Yeah. With Anthony Hopkins instead of Jodie Foster? Yep. I've only seen Jodie Foster. I mean, yeah. I've no, never seen, oh, no, I've seen that one. one yeah. yeah, I don't think I've yeah. seen yeah. that one. Yeah, that so one. is that the one you like? Yeah. Right. Okay, that's yeah, cool. That's one, that's one I really... I thought it was really with the, with the red eyes that he's got. Yeah. It really stands out. That's a good one. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Have you have you stayed at Buffalo? Buffalo broke up there. Bills house? Broke, you broke up there. What was that? Have you stayed at Buffalo Bill's house? No, no. I no. bed and breakfast. Yeah. No, no, I remember we were talking about doing a show there back at one in point. fucking year one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that never came to be. I asked. No, no, I have not. Just I don't know if I want to. I'd be nervous if, if there's actually a well down there they actually there, did no there they is. actually built a well there is. It, it didn't is it really it didn't originally have That's one new. the guy got permits to uh put one in oh, yep. that's crazy so you actually could go down and look at the whole basement the moth and every I mean, the the moth room and everything yeah i'll put you down in the spicy motor yeah. <laughs> oh damn are you gonna have a little puppy <laughs> hey gum i was gonna say big bottle of lotion say, hey gum you got to spin. Oh, spin. right. You did. <laughs> How do you get that? Yep. That's Good was, job. That's what I was staring at her. I was just like, you know what you just did? <laughs> Good job. She didn't even realize she it. Didn't. <laughs> oh, great. Um, awesome. Okay. My first time. Is this your first time spinning? Yeah. Really? Okay. Pop that cherry. All right, Ron. <laughs> it's all he craves for. Oh, she got grab something um, yummy. Grab something oh. yummy. Okay. You got lucky. <laughs> there, 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 you there you go. go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So while she's pouring her punishment shot, this um, is number two. Yep, number two. Uh, backdraft. Uh, that's a good oh, yeah. one. That's, yes. that's, that's former firefighter. I just love that, that with the whole outline movie. with the fire in the background. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. That's a, that's yeah. a fucking good movie. Yeah, I good love movie. that movie. Um, Very underrated, in my opinion. Yeah, the my third one is the abyss. Mm, um, nice. Just the showing of the di- the diver, just mm-hmm. how yes. isolated yep. Yep. they appear to be down in, in the bottom of the ocean. There. Oh yeah, that's a good so, one. Um, fourth one, the original Star Wars poster. Yes, it's yeah. got 
everybody in it. It's just iconic. Yes. Um, and then my last one, Die Hard. Yeah, you know, <laughs> with, with the Nakatomi building getting exploded. Yeah, like that. It's awesome. just the the close up of uh, um of uh his face and everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, John McClane's face. That's a yep. good list. Yeah, appreciate it. All, All right, wrong. cool. All right, we're gonna go to my list for uh, my five movie posters. So my first one's gonna be Back to the Future. Yep. That is a classic okay. poster uh, right there classic. by Drew Stanzen. Yes. Drew Stanzen. I think that's his name. Uh, Goop. We were talking on the phone earlier about it. The uh, yeah. the uh, artist that did a lot of stuff back in the eighties and stuff like that. But that's just a classic. Actually, all three of them are great. Back to the Future Part Two and Part Three because yep. they keep changing over time. But just seeing the DeLorean in the background, the fire, and him looking at his watch, just a classic poster right there. Uh, I'm going with Star Wars too, but I'm going with The Empire Strikes Back. The Empire Strikes Back movie poster, I fucking love. Yes. The original uh, with Darth Vader's um, in the background, and you it, just the the Hoth and everything. It's in the um, Star Destroyer. Love that one, and also the little romance between Hans and uh, Han and Leia. Yep. Uh, my, th- yeah, I know. I said Hans. Hans. Hans Gruber. Hans Gruber. Hans Gruber. Hans Gruber. Be a different film. It would be a very different film. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to go modern. And this one I love. Modern? Modern? Modern. Yeah, my fucking words moderation. are Moderation? Yes, we're moderation. Stu- we're starting early now. There's yeah, apparently. I know. Extra syllables. The Northman. Okay, good one. Okay. Um, but yep. there's two posters. There's one where it's got all of them, and there's one where he's standing over a cliff looking down. That is my favorite one. I've... Because I love that movie, but that poster, I think, is fucking beautiful. And someday I'm going to get it to put down here in my man cave. Love the Northman poster. I enjoyed that one. Uh, my next one is 80s classic RoboCop. With him standing outside of the fucking car with his, holding his gun up and everything. That is a fucking classic poster right there. So I'm going to have to definitely go with the RoboCop on that one. And then I'm going ultra early 80s. The original Conan the Barbarian poster. Oh, good. That's a good one. Yes, with him good. holding up the sword. Yep. Yes, that is by far one of the best. Arnold Schwartz, that's one of my favorite Schwarzenegger movies. Predator, that, and uh, Total Recall. And Conan the Barbarian is amazing. So I think that is a great fucking movie poster. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. This was hard because there's a lot of great movie posters out there. So maybe down the road we'll do them part two for this. But, uh, yeah, definitely that is my top five. So we're going to go ahead. What's all the aliens? The aliens poster is actually not my favorite. What's my wrong f- with it? I mean, I love the whole thing with Sigourney Weaver holding Newt. Like, I'm looking at it right now with the eggs in the background, but it's it's not my favorite. I actually like the original Alien poster better with the egg. I think What's it's more mysterious. It? There's nothing, It's just, to me, it's not iconic. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Just doing a bit. Yeah. Want to hear you shit on your yeah. film? Yeah, okay. Well, I already got shit on the film many times in our anniversary special. <laughs> well, actually, my drink got shit on. Which Your drink was horrible. I, I know. You, you tried it out. What did you think of it? It tasted like rubber. <laughs> <laughs> it was worse than Malort. It left uh, aftertaste forever. Yeah, she was saying how it's still lingering and everything, and it still shows that potent smell and everything. Yeah. She said she thought he drank a tire. <laughs> now, just make sure you always associate wow. that That's drink bad. with aliens now. All right. Man, you fucking suck. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead over to Ragnar, your top five movie posters. Oh, man. All right, well, uh, nope, none of mine got picked, so we're good. Really? Okay. Yep. So, which, is, which is good, which is nice because... <laughs> it's hate, nice to have a variety. It's a good variety. Yeah. So, um... I was just waiting for him to go back and go, fuck, now I got to find something else. <laughs> <laughs> so far, nobody's... Yeah, so everybody's no been different so far. Anybody take anything from your list yet? I ain't saying nothing. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Uh, we'll start off with the John Wick 2 poster. Yes, that is a the good one. The one with him and all of the guns are pointed at him. Solid. That is yeah. a very yeah. good one. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, Terminator 2, specifically. With him on the bike? No. No. With the Terminator skull. Oh, God. In the center of it. Yes, yes. That one there. I know which one you're talking about. I think that's a teaser poster, I believe. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, and then... It's, the poster design is is a classic design for Pulp Fiction. That is a good mm-hmm. one because mm-hmm. it looks like a magazine cover, basically. Well, it's think. like the old school movie posters. Yeah, the way they were yep. done then. That's exactly how it looks. Yeah. Um. That was one, two, three, and then we'll continue with Star Wars, but with uh, Return of the Jedi. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> that's wild. <It's> Star Wars <laughs> Return of the Jedi. <laughs> <coughs> it's a I good like, one. I like that one. It's got you see Vader's head and then Luke in the center and then everything else. With the green lightsaber and everything. Everything, yeah. everything yeah. else going around. You see the Ewoks Leia at the bottom. 
Oh, lay on the bottom's the best part. Slave lay up. Really yeah. <laughs> you got to look really close for that one. Yeah, I know. Uh, and then last, it's with a microfine magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we will end this one off with the Joker. Oh, the, uh, okay. uh, the Joaquin the, Phoenix yeah. with him looking up. No, no, when he's on the stairs. Oh yeah, uh, yep, yeah. That one. There was multiple ones. That's a good yeah. one right there where he's dancing on the stairs. Yep, yep. That's a good list. It sucks because there, there's multiple. Well, I had multiple ones, but but like there's multiple art for each movie. Yeah. So it's hard to figure out which one is better than the next right. one. You know. Well, I know, mm-hmm. I know. For down the road, we will probably do a part two for this because there's so many great posters out there. This yeah. is this is fun already. I'm actually enjoying this one. So that's a great list, Ragnar. Thank God. I, I did get all you, you did get all five, right? Hope so. He said last. Okay, I'm just making yeah. sure. <laughs> I thought, I thought I see you were, you were. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and end it with uh, Stu on his top five movie posters. All right, in no particular order. Do, oh, yeah, go ahead. I didn't know you had any. <laughs> I have some, like, you know, if it's okay. She got prepared. All right, well, here, let's go, go ahead. ahead. I, didn't, I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that Lady you didn't first. have any, so go ahead. I do have some. All right, then go ahead. Okay. You're good. Okay. But if you take one of mine, I'll be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> then we can fight. All right, um, so we have Anna going for the top five movie posters. Okay, so my favorite, well, I'm just going to say my favorite first is Jaws. Just That is classic. a classic. That's a very good one. Yeah, it's a classic poster just, right there. And then um, I really... Like the airplane one where it looks oh, like the yep. airplane is like <laughs> twisted, yep. tied up. Yes, of. yes. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Yep. Um, Fucking great movie. And then um, a clockwork orange, just the way he's got his little pointy thing in his hand. It's just kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know what it is. This little pointy thing in his hand. That sounded really bad. <laughs> it's this one. It's a, yeah, I know I like, that one. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. I don't yeah. know what that even is. <laughs> it's Stu right now. Stu's pissed. <laughs> you took one of his fucking posters. Hey, wait, that's two. <laughs> and then I like the Nightmare on Elm Street one where Freddy is like, <laughs> kind very of good. looking very down. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, the very first uh, one? The Nightmare on Elm Street, all those posters yeah. are fucking. This one? Mm-hmm. The remake? Oh, that's a newer one. Is it? Yeah. That's yeah. the remake. That's oh, the yeah, remake. it is the remake. I really like that poster, though. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you were going for classic, like the original Nightmare. Because the Nightmare Elm Street original poster is, like, beautiful art. I, I kind of forgot that was the new one. but um, oh. And then my last one was Pulp Fiction. There you go. Because I really like mm-hmm. yeah. how it looks like an old mm-hmm. movie poster. Yeah. Very That's nice. a good one. That's it. Great five list. Yeah, great list. Great list. <laughs> <laughs> You were just talking about that poster outside. Oh, was it? So how much stuff is that getting was the thrown first at one <laughs> that I locked in my head, dude? I'm like, damn, clockwork. Got it. All right. Maybe I heard you. No. Just, I did, I did She's like, yes, I All can right. take it from him. So my list, my modified list now. Um, no particular order. The Rocketeer. Yes, oh, I almost went to that good classic one. fucking poster. S- good one. Someday okay, we're gonna film. You know, it's fine. Yeah. I think it's a it's yeah, a it's fun, fun movie. It's yeah. a fun like, but that poster is just fucking amazing. And just him zooming up into the fucking sky. Yeah, yeah, amazing. It's a fun movie. Uh, next is Vertigo. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, all of nice all one. of Hitchcock's fucking posters are yes. amazing. No, uh, so that's a good one. One of them I like Vertigo. Just I that. Uh, you know, it's that very old school style, and it it gives you that sense of. That the the falling of fe- the the falling feeling um, just by the poster alone. I'm like, this is really fucking amazing. Any any of those older posters are just great because they always have like little taglines yep. all over the place and mm-hmm. everything, and they really try to get you to go see the yeah. movie. I mean, that's the whole yeah. point of the poster is to commercialize the movie. But they did a lot of that back then, like especially like the old monster movies mm-hmm. of the 60s and 50s and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, next one is going to be Alien. Yeah, um, I knew that was yeah yeah. It's a great fucking. I agree with you. Great fucking poster. Uh, don't know what's going on. Space, no one can hear you scream. I mean, it's just like, this is fucking amazing right here. Yep. All right, just the egg cracking open. <laughs> um, the light coming out of the egg, yes. Uh, next, this is cheesy as hell, but there's a reason. It's probably one of the best-selling fucking prints of all time. Scarface. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. All, right. Yeah. all right. Good. It is a cheesy pick, but it's... It works. It's good. Yeah. When you're now, yeah. when you're going by the scar face, you're going by the one where he's standing there. The black there and white, and you know, the, okay, yeah. with the, the yes. yeah, the, yeah, the separation, everything. It's a 
Worked so well. Watching that movie, actually, because uh, I in the past, I didn't like it as much. But watching it nowadays, I've uh, watched it a couple times, and I actually love that movie. Like, I love the whole 80s tone and everything, like the whole um, with uh, Al Pacino. I, I think they did a great job with that yeah. movie. Oliver Stone, the music, everything about yeah. it is great. That'd be yeah, a, what I think you talked about that one at one point on something. I don't, I don't uh, remember. Wait, it was on a taste room. You said something. Oliver Stone? Oliver Stone's, uh, uh, he... Uh, wrote Scarface and okay. Brian De Palma directed it. Correct, yes. Yes. And my fifth one, um it's a movie I do really enjoy, uh, but the poster is it's it's a more newer one. Um Nick Cage's Lord of War. Uh it's a good yeah, one. He's yeah, he just standing one. there very yeah. sullen looking with the city and you know burning behind him. Yep. Um it just it, it gives a really intense feel but he also looks like a normal everyday fucking mm-hmm. dude. Yeah. Uh, and, and like this, it's this a great movie. really good, really well done. Yeah. yeah I really enjoy it. I've always enjoyed Lord of War. Yeah. I've, I've, you've always talked about that movie and yeah. how much you liked it. So yeah, it's really fucking well done. Great fucking yeah. list, guys. This was good. All right. That was good, Stu. Thank you. All right. And it was great to have you back on our taste room. And I know. We missed. You good. And he will be joining um, us for our top five MILFs and DILFs next oh. week. Oh, that's going to be. Oh, oh, Ron will be nothing but DILFs. <laughs> <laughs> There's the finger again. And well, the Patreon's not even recording, so. <laughs> Why not? I, I don't know. I forgot to record the tasting room, but tasting rooms don't matter. It's mainly for the main episodes. Ron, I Ron, Ron, Ron. Ron. the people that are actually paying yeah. fucking good money to hear this fucking horse shit, you don't even fucking give them everything. <laughs> Apparently, All right? I you don't. Fucking. Yeah. More cheap, cheap is better. I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole. Anyways, guys, that's the end of our tasting room episode, and we will see you guys later. And Adam and yes. sh- oh, <laughs> what? You didn't I didn't say what's that. Don't tell us to be quiet. Did you just have a stroke? I mean, <laughs> no, I almost. Uh, Anna, god damn it! Some, sometimes it's hard to remember your name. Thanks for being a part of our show for the uh, tasting room. Thank you both thank you. so much. Thank you guys. And thank, thank you, you for the thank you for the drink. Yes. Good to see you guys again. Love you. Good to see you too, dude. Love you guys. Don't All be a stranger. Right. <laughs> so let's go ahead and end this fucker. Later, guys. Later. Bye. Later. Nope. Thank you for listening to our bonus episode for season four of The Tasting Room. If you like our show, please leave a five star rating on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Guys, this helps out enormously. Give us a follow on Instagram at Barrel Age Flicks Podcast. If you would like to send us a special film request, please contact us via Instagram and we will give you a personal shout out on the show. We are also on Facebook and Twitter. Our podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Buzzsprout, Google Podcasts, Audible, Pocket Cast, Spotify, Castbox iHeartRadio and Pandora. Make sure you check out Barrel Age Chicks, our spinoff show where you get the girl's perspective. Subscribe to our Patreon for uncut video and early access to our podcast. Special thanks to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio on YouTube for his awesome music. This guy fucking rocks. Check him out. Want to give a shout out to Sammy, one of our guest hosts on the show who does our amazing album artwork. Thank you, Sammy. Our podcast only exists because of listeners like you. To find other great shows, head over to Deluxe Edition Network. Hope you join us for our next episode. Later, guys.